Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of macro and microeconomics. Last time we talked about markets and the circular flow model. Today we're going to talk about supply and demand and market equilibrium. Here is a market for video games in equilibrium. The equilibrium price is $50 and the equilibrium quantity is 80,000 video games. Now where does this equilibrium come from? Well, it's simply where the supply curve meets the demand curve. The demand curve represents the buyer side of the market. When you go out and buy stuff, you're willing to buy more stuff as the price falls. If you were selling stuff as the price rises, you would want to sell more stuff. The law of demand states that as price rises, quantity demanded will fall. And as price falls, quantity demanded will rise. This downward sloping demand curve can be explained by diminishing marginal utility, the income effect, and the substitution effect. Diminishing marginal utility, or DMU, means that as we consume additional units of a good, our additional satisfaction or marginal satisfaction will fall. So we're only going to purchase additional units if the price falls. The income effect means that at lower prices, our income has greater purchasing power and we can purchase more units. The substitution effect means that at higher prices, we start to consider alternatives. The law of supply states that as price rises, quantity supplied will rise. And as price falls, the quantity supplied will fall. This direct relationship can be explained in terms of revenue and marginal cost. As the price rises, producers see more total revenue. But also, as a seller produces more goods, their additional costs are rising. That is, the marginal costs are increasing. Sometimes within a market, a temporary disequilibrium can occur. Suppose that the price of video games goes up to $99. At a price of $99, sellers are willing and able to provide the market with 100,000 video games. However, buyers are only willing and able to purchase 30,000 video games. What we have is a surplus of 70,000 video games. What will happen next is that market forces, competitive market forces, will push the price downward back toward the equilibrium price of $50. And then we have equilibrium restored. Another example of a temporary disequilibrium would be if the price is less than the market price. Suppose that the price falls to $20. At $20, we have 105,000 video games that will be demanded by buyers. However, sellers are only willing and able to supply the market with 35,000 video games. We have a temporary shortage of 70,000 video games. What will happen next is that competitive market forces will push the price back up toward the market price of $50, and that will get rid of the shortage. Well, that wraps up our Noble Review session on market equilibrium. In the next video, we're going to look at the determinants, or shift factors of supply and demand.